Healy wasn't in a rush. Healy, it's a zippy ball inside, it's in! Getting his head to it there was Lyons. Shelburne take the lead, and it's Josh Lyons. Well, an ever-dependable centre-back, but as you can see, he can be effective in the opposition box as well. Well, we were warned before the game, well, we were told, Rovers were warned, that he's good in the air, he's good on set pieces, and he's aggressive. He showed all of that there. McLaughlin trying to get to him as McCarthy. McLaughlin, well, the cross came off McCarthy and fell kindly for Marshall. And that's a brilliant finish. When the chance came, he didn't hesitate. Donnelly makes it 1-0. Ready. Ready for the man up top. That was Dylan who turns it into the pack of Vodo. Vodo, Vodo goes to ground. It has to be a penalty. It is a penalty. A yellow card for Jamie Gamble. Well, as a keeper, sometimes you have to take the chance. He did there. He has been excellent today. That doesn't change, but it was there. Dylan against Gamble. Dylan buries it. And that's why he's the top scorer. That kind of composure, that kind of skill, that kind of talent. A penalty in a cup final. It's not easy. But he showed absolute nerves of steel to send it to the bottom corner. and Sean Hoare and Shelburne have created... <laughs> Shamrock Rovers are the EA Sports Under-17 League of Ireland Mark Farron Cup champions. Shelburne made them work for it. They pushed them all the way. But Shamrock Rovers found a way and they will get their hands on the cup. <laughs> Look at what it means. They have put in so much work this season and the seasons before and those around them the same. Parents, friends, coaches, supporters, of which there are many here today. Shamrock Rovers, the champions. This stand is empty today, by the way. So all the fans over on that far side, and that's where all the noise is coming from. And there's a bit more noise than what you're picking up at home. Waterford have beaten that lone 3-1, so they're on their way to the playoff final. Will it be Cove Ramblers or Wexford who they play? We'll find out this evening because Cove Ramblers and Wexford is about to kick off at 5 o'clock. And you can watch that on LOI TV also tonight in the Premier Division. Sligo Rovers take on Drata, that one kicks off at 6 o'clock. And don't forget, if today's final gave you a taste for cup finals we've got two big ones coming up in november on the 12th at the sportsdirect.com fai men's cup final between bows and pats at the aviva then here on the 19th it's the sportsdirect.com fai women's cup final between shelburne and tala they're about to lift the trophy and a trophy that is named after a real legend the kids who play in this are too young to remember mark farren but i can tell you he is everything you'd want a player to be just such a great guy and a skillful player and he's missed by all who knew Congratulations to Shamrock Rovers, a great day for these kids. And they'll celebrate it in style, and why not? Keen Dillon with the penalty to secure the title. It's a moment that he will remember for the rest of his life. Donnelly got the equaliser for his team. Lyons scored for Shelburne to put them in front. They were unlucky. Shamrock Rovers, well, if you score more than your opposition, 
that you deserve to win matches, but there wasn't much between them. Shamrock Rovers 2, Shelburne 1. That's the final score of the EA Sports Under-17 League of Ireland Mark Barron Cup Final. Thank you for watching. Keep an eye out on the League of Ireland social media channels for highlights of this game and news on everything else that's happening in the league. Shamrock Rovers, it's been a great weekend for them. Uh, they complete the four in a row and they send a message that there's more coming through. But Shelburne look at a pretty good place as well, judging by what we saw this afternoon. That's it from Tallis Stadium. For myself and all the team, thank you for watching. Congratulations to Shamrock Rovers. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.